This is Deductor continuing the Chaos Gate playthrough. I'm excited that the map has been fully unlocked and all the research, well, not all the research, most of the research has been unlocked and crazy things are about to happen, uh, including getting our Dreadnought, which should happen very soon. But before we do that, I'm just going to head my way towards the Archeocache uh, planet, get some Archeotech. And then we do our mission, and then I will go talk to everyone. On the ship, like Ektar, Vakir, and so forth. But I expect that Dreadnought mission to spawn very soon. I have pleasing news. Our brother has made a complete and near instantaneous recovery. Such occurrences are not unknown among the Astartes, but it is rare enough that the apothecaries have deemed him one of the Emperor's chosen, not needing any further augmentation. Wow, Aya, you're the Emperor's chosen. Stop. What does that mean for you? You do have a great destiny. Let's see, I know you fully recovered. Uh, you get a bonus crit, but that's just from your perks. Great Destiny, I know about that. Is there anything else you get from that? Port Fire, Ruthless Precision. No, you, you just got a full recovery. I'll take it, though. You were out for like 60 days or something. That's great. Yes, the Emperor's Chosen, Aya. That's right. Yeah, I guess we go get that Archaeotech. Commander, my agents report a novel Bloomspawn hive that resonates with the vile energy of the Tentara strain. For now, the substructure remains contained, but given time, its tendrils will corrupt the planet beyond redemption. Address other priorities first if you must, but do not leave this abomination to mature too long. Okay, this is a special type of mission, a Tentara's hive mission. And you don't actually have a 20 day limit. It, if you don't do it, it just gets harder as time goes on. These are pretty hard missions. You need a strong squad and you need, you need knights or the Eversaur assassin. Vindicare assassin, not the best choice. Powerless. Also, um, I want to send a character back. Valda. I don't know we need this particular interceptor, so go back to Titan. Uh, wow, well, B-Res is almost fully healed. We could send Aya, B-Res, like a super strong squad, Aya, B-Res pendant. Maybe one of our apothecaries or something like that. Uh, that could be pretty good. The two interceptors could be pretty good. Got options. The question is, do I hit there right away or do I go get the Archaeotech? Archaeotech will still be there. Um, I actually don't. Mm, I won't be able to bring an Apothecary. I could just bring two Interceptors. That might honestly be better. Vindicare. Well, Tentara's Hive missions can be kind of rough. Come on. I always bring a CO here, but I really would, would prefer not to. <laughs> Mystery, you are, um, I have the Terminator armor that makes you immune to plague. You might be a fine candidate to bring, even if your hit points are a little lower. Rugen. Definitely want Pendant to be fully healed, but this might be a great mission for Metros. Metros has the weapon that's good against Daemons. Uh, let's head towards the Hive. Why not? We can get the tech later. Commander, the Prognostica Choir has relayed ominous news. Venerable Brother Cross, who fought alongside us on Dironan Prime, has fallen upon some dire and uncertain fate. While no Grey Knight has yet fallen to chaos, 
we cannot ignore the risk that this new technophage will challenge our resistance. We should investigate as soon as possible. Okay, now that is even more important. We gotta get the uh, we gotta get the dreadnought. That is the highest priority. We can get the tech later. We can do the hive later as well. Because if we get the dreadnought, we could potentially do a technophage this is mission. Brother Krask's last known whereabouts. Our prognosticars pretend a massive outbreak of the technophage below. We cannot risk our venerable brother to such vile fate. Dominus Lunet has volunteered to join our brothers in case our ministrations may be needed. An extraordinary offer that we must accept. Yes, Lunet's gonna join the battle. Haven't seen a uh, new Lunet in an actual battle until now, so let's find out what that's gonna be like. Um, and then we can talk to everyone. So, Lunette will be here. I do think Alex K can come again. Uh, this is not a particularly hard mission. Because Lunette is like pretty busted strong. So I'm gonna take uh, Fortress, cause over uh, under chapter. So we'll do that. Or, well, I'm gonna take rank one in under chapter, but Fortress first. Then we'll go from there. Um, hmm. I want to level up one of our apothecaries a little bit. No mystery, you're a little wounded, but you'll be alright. And Pendant, you're a little injured too. This is not the strongest squad. No, I would, I would rather have a teleporter. But if we bring Kill Tide to sort of make sure nothing goes wrong, we should be alright. Could, of course, always just bring uh, Metros. But Kill Tide's bad in the. Vindica. He's not good in the. Tech, uh, the Tentaris Hive mission, so he might as well come on this one. So Alex K, we have good loadout. I didn't get any new weapons, right? Uh, we got Demiurge to do some teleport shenanigans. Low support fire, I could do wonders. Mystery, I know you're a little injured. That's okay. Let's load a servo skull. Maybe we try out the new seeker servo skull. Could be intriguing. We have heals in the form of mystery and our stratagems. Got one grenade, that should be enough. We don't have any uh, other master crafted weapons or anything, but I think it'll be fine. Let's try this. Not the strongest squad, but I think it'll do. And I know mystery's a little wounded, but he's still got the Terminator armor. Still got nine hit points, and I know this is not a very hard mission. I am detecting odd energy signatures in the area immediately around the target. Readings indicate the presence of Technophage along with the Necrosis strain. This mysterious Technophage. I'll need to collect samples. Let us not forget why we are here, Commander. We must recover Venerable Brother Krask. All right. Well, let's get to it. It's a group that we will 
take care of. A suboptimal decision. Lunette is. We'll get to Lunette's abilities, but she does move. Her animation is very slow. I am here to sell. But it's okay. It's okay. Hoping for the prop. Okay. Yeah. On the way. What is your will? Unleash me. Be quick, Commander. Here. I am with you. Move our characters and Aegis. Commander. Standing ready. Shield activated. I actually won't Aegis mystery just to save a little warp ready surge meter. Don't think we'll need it. We are discovered! Five plague marines, that's a lot, but we have blue net. So this is quite doable. <laughs> Prepare to engage. Okay, so, these guys are annoying, but they don't have resistance. We just gotta get the ones with the grenade. Let's look Project at Lunette. She is a tech priest. She actually has respectable hit points. 14 hit points is quite a bit. And she has a basic uh, pistol attack that does 3 damage, pierces, and burns an enemy. Actually, not a bad attack. She has an ability to immediately... Uh, incapacitate a target and deal with five stun. Incapacitate means they can't do anything, like they're they're out for the next turn. That is a very, very powerful ability. It, it has a cooldown, it's only a two turn cooldown. Problem, of course, is you gotta get right next to it. Then she has this Chant of the Remorseless Fist. Target a blast over area three, which is quite a large area, and it um, afflicts a vulnerable, disables cover. Um, afflicts vulnerable right that is pretty sickeningly good is there any way i can yes right here would we'll target all three of them and it disables their range so they can't use any of their range attacks Colossal machine spirits wither at my gaze yep so those three plague marines are basically dealt with they can melee but who cares uh they are also vulnerable so this one with its 80 million armor can be one shot it by kill tie. Oh no, it's 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 protected. Hmm. Unless I go here. Alright. I do need to also kill this one. That is because he has a grenade. I hate the one with the grenade. This one in the back is irrelevant. This one with the sprayer, if you get next to him, he just melees and yeah. doesn't do anything. The ones with the grenade, they do stuff. My blade is use. We can run in smack smack with Demiurge, but that's not enough. Awaiting directions. Hmm. This is actually kind of annoying. I could come here. If I kill this one, I could come here and one shot that. That's not terrible. Ready to kill. Do a spy mask. Vulnerability analysis complete. This I don't have a litany. Oh well, no, I could litany do a electromancer and deal with this one. It's just done. Then yes, commander. You can run up and smack this one over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, that seems pretty good. Overcharging capacitors. 
So not only is it stunned, so next time we can execute him, he is uh, incapacitated, meaning he cannot act on his turn. So Lunette, pretty strong. I am an instrument of vengeance. Yep, right there. What is your will? At your command. Here, just to teleport. Well, I actually might want Alex K to run up on one of these just to tank. Right, me. So let's. Listening. You can actually get the shot from here. Okay. Us. Let's get Demir up there. Look at that jump. Weapons ready. Basic pistol shot won't do it. Commander. Repositioning. Yep, we got the thing. Come on. Mystery up. I just kill you. For the golden I am an instrument of vengeance. Understood. Dead shot this one. Die. The grenade in the back. They have no more grenades. Time to reload. Ready to serve. Could reload, or I could just. Oops. Unleash me. Well, you should run and stab, so let's... Oh... Click bleed! Disabling the ranged weapon doesn't do anything, it's already di disabled. Yeah? Face me! Again, a flick bleed. Oh, you have the grenade! My grenade? Whoops. Well, he has six bleed. He might run. So let's try pistoling him. Maybe, uh. With pleasure. I don't think they'll. Grenading melee range. So. Well, we'll find out. Okay, Dig does a stab. Okay, okay, he just ran away. And he doesn't grenade, right? Uh, guys from the lead. He will rise again. Good. Everything's great. Yeah. Alright, mystery, why don't you get the stab thing, stun this one. And then, uh, does Vindicare anyone need, need willpower? I am here Stand to serve. Oh, mystery, you need experience. So why don't you get the execution? Yes. I am the Emperor's Fury. Yes, you are the Emperor's Fury, buddy. Awaiting directions. Ready. I mean, the best way to get the seed is through the. Precision target locked in. Crippling shot. Seed remains intact. And I should score to kill with kill time just to get my cooldowns charging again. Okay, and then we gotta move. My blade is yours. So we're gonna It will be done. Start getting everybody in position. Here. Yes. Cogitating. I know, Lunette. You're, uh, you're an old tech priest. Give me a target. I get it. I get it. Okay, kill die. Confirmed. Kill. 
Get your cooldowns back. Be quick, Commander. Look at that tap from Lunette. A little tap on the door and it's blown up. I think there's a pod guarding the Dreadnought. The game just doesn't like tell you. So we should be careful. What is your will? I get everyone to move up. Vindicare at your disposal. On the hunt. And just enter. Speed up the animations. Enemy gain plus one reinforcements. I don't know that matters. Okay. I could just wait one more turn to get all my Weapons abilities ready. back. I mean, that is actually like the smart thing to do. Firing, firing position. There's no rush. So, and I don't need this mission to be crazy. Yes. Like, let's just get all my abilities back. Give me a target. Except for Deadshot. We don't need that. Yes, Commander. Let's defend. I know the map isn't showing enemies, but I played this mission before. I know there are enemies here. The Aegis Shield Us. Cogitating concordance. Okay. What is your will? I am here to serve. Hail. Unleash me on the hunt. I am an instrument of vengeance. Be quick, Commander. Oh. Standing ready. Estrius. There we go. The unfaithful are here. Ready yourselves. Two priests. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Indeed. I am detecting weak biosignatures from the venerable dreadnought. You must rouse him from his stasis. Update. Dreadnought has entered stasis to ward off the technophage. Immediate sanctification recommended. Okay, have Lunette internet with Your the Dreadnought. Query. Unfortunately, Lunette can't quite get there this the turn. Choice. But you can do your maneuvers, including a Chant of the Remorseless. Might be the way to go. I don't know yet. Or I just run up and incapacitate one. Command. I haven't quite figured it out. Standing ready. Uh, yeah. Yes, come on. Oh no, that won't do anything. Awaiting directions. Let's. I think no matter what, I would want to teleport Demiurge, and I would want you to deal with these uh, creatures. They're very annoying. I should try to. Let's come here. In an instant. I want to see if I can psychically suppress this one. Yep. Okay, right, so we got options. I am an instrument of vengeance. Then we got even more options here with kill time. Lots of options. My pistol. Potentially, yes, I could pistol that preacher. A. I want to also mark an enemy. You know what? I can mark this one, and then when I melee him, Target ready for dissection. I have a good chance of getting that seed. So let's just do a basic shot with kill time. Quiet. If I do another basic shot. I can pistol. Must reload. Okay. Get up! Get 
creatures are quite annoying. Your attacks range, blast attacks. I don't think they're range. I could stun you with Lunette. Uh, it's a little aggressive. Lunette might get shot at, but okay, hold on. Let me target a knight so I can't target Lunette. Oh, I could have given Lunette. Like, if, if this wasn't target a knight, Lunette could have all of the abilities. All right, it's fine. can uh do this i'll disable all your range your attacks will? then demiurge can run up and kill this one and still tank some hits that seems best ready to serve i could run up and do some other stuff okay cogitating so let's do a chant of the remorseless fist to Mark all these enemies as vulnerable, disable all of these weapons. Your flesh will fail. Indeed. Target is wounded. I do have a shot here. And then next turn Lunette can should be able to get up there, right? I could just move her. I haven't quite figured it out. Weapons ready. I have a pistol shot up here too, but he's disabled. Like he can't do anything. I am here to serve. Okay, let's get rid of this uh, grenadier. Among the most annoying enemies in the game. Who's next, brothers? Mistress. I can run uh, Alex K up here. Just to distract this one. Probably the way to go, so it doesn't like flank shot on us. Feel the fight oh! sword. Run, run, run! Yes. Sure, let's do a pistol shot with Lunette. We never Fire do that. Clear. Your end is assured. So burns it. Do I have a better shot somewhere? Not really. Maybe if I overwatch, I do a little more damage. Oh, I forgot the psychic suppression thing. All right, I took three damage for no reason. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Die, die, die! die. <laughs> Can't hurt Alex K through his armor. Watch over me. We do have to kill that preacher, though. <laughs> okay. What sort of shots do I have? Is this this is the one that's been marked as vulnerable? Move up with kill time. Clear shot. Look out. Ah, One guy overwatching us. A pistol shot. Get rid of that. Uh, heavy. Terminated. Terminated is right. No other good shots, unfortunately. What is your will? Well, new net. You can't interface with a dreadnought. Initiating locomotion. Honored brother, our enemy has grown strong and we must stand together. We beseech you for aid in our campaign. You return. I will aid you in your hunt. 
update. Warp interference prevents extraction of the combat walker. I have tracked the source to a location near our position. Okay. Let's try the warp interference. We got uh, we got options. I can use the twinsling last cannon to just shoot away. That seems smart. What's my crit chance? 35%. This is precision targeting, so if I did Astro Aim, I can get that seed. If I just shot, I do 8 damage, shoot it twice, and then My blade is anything will finish you off. Including a basic staple mystery. I'm here to serve. Let's see if I can crit this one. I have a 50% chance to crit with Alex K. Nope. I want that seed, though. Yeah. So I can use Demiurge to get it you using the hammer is hand. This is coming with me. Maybe I should just smack this one twice to get some willpower back. Okay. You have a shot with Alex K. We have options. Guild high, if you come up here, you have a shot thanks to your uh, ability. I will mutilate you. Your ability to gain an AP after a move. So why don't you extract a seed from the other Seed cultists. removed from target at your command. I am yours to command. Shoot. Okay, got options. Watch closely. Cannon kills one. A sufficient demonstration, brother. Sufficient demonstration, indeed. That last oh, cannon being very strong. Nice work. Question is, who should get the experience? I, I feel like mystery uh, needs it the that. most. So mystery, why don't you run up and stab this one? This preacher. Stairs within the shadows. Yes. Hey, more enemies. I know I don't have cooldowns, but who cares when you have a dreadnought? What is your command? You can't really yeah. lose if you have a dreadnought. Yes, sir. Ready to serve. I am here. With haste! I am listening. Here? I'm I'm sure we're gonna act. Waiting directions. Oh, I didn't expect to activate so soon. But it's fine. Bunch of plague marines. Enemies sighted. I believe this one has grenades, right? Okay, that could be a slight problem. You know how much I don't like grenades. Get brother draw in there. We could do a charge, that's not bad. Now, let's use our Servo Skull to apply Vulnerable. Why not? Those two. Vindica at your disposal. Oh, that's a kill. Yeah. Yes. Um... So I want to, uh... You seem to have a shot from back here. It's high cover. Let's do it. Dead. Okay. Where is the seed on your body? It doesn't matter. I kind of want to kill you no matter what. What is your command? A charge might not be the best way to do it, though. 
The Twinlings last cannon doesn't seem very good. I am from an here. instrument of vengeance. Hmm. Be quick, Commander. At your command. My now, I could teleport Demiurging and then transfer him all the armor. These uh, other fools don't really do much. At your service. I serve in death. Here. And then I could even do the astro aim just to get the seed. So. Yeah, he's got good cover. I could charge. Dreadnought also has, like, armor, but not the same degree. If I shoot twice at 6 damage, it'll be down to 12. Ready to serve. I would have Stand to ready. four strike twice. This commander. I wonder if the support fire procs. Let's find yes. out. Did you quit, commander? Oh right, I also have um I could also just incapacitate. And then but there, there's going to be more enemies up there. If I incapacitate, how do I, like, deal with the other ones? I don't have a good answer for that. They've actually taken, like, remarkably good cover. Right, me. Yes, I think I'm going to stick to my plan. My will is yours. Let's start with an astro aim. Get the... Process seed. Then I want to see if the support fire is going to proc from the dreadnought. I serve in death. Yes, that's actually perfect. Oh, I got another very lucky, uh, lucky crit. I probably should have done that first and then astro aim when it. A bunch of willpower for no reason. Alright. Yeah. Demiurge. You can just smack this one with your hammer. I will defy your court, Commander. And we can Aegis. Transfer all the shields to Demiurge from Alex. Okay, 12 shields. Standing the open, buddy. It's all good. Yes, sir. Cogitation. that. You might get flanked from over there. Why don't you come over here? You might still get flanked from here, but they should really all shoot uh Demiurge. No shots. Suppose you can move up a little more. You might get flanked and shot at, but Actually, surprisingly okay with that. Wow. What is your will? Spread out. Move our Vindicare assassin up. Don't really see the point. Vindicare at your disposal. Stay put. Yeah, I thought as much. I can take it. I don't like that drain. Position. You can get your uh, willpower back by killing these things. Not a drain. Warp surge. What do we get? All enemies cannot be stunned for the next three turns. That's actually pretty bad. Stuns are a great great way to quickly kill enemies, so it's actually a bit of a problem. As requested. Alright. Well, we can't cripple. I want to save our cooldowns. Firing. Be quick, Commander. Here! I am listening. 
praise the Emperor. Direct my vengeance. Okay, you have a clear shot here, Lunette. Prepare for eradication. Get down! Get another clear shot. Kill time, you can finish this one off. Fire! No glory, no salvation. Then Clear you can shot. Hit the other one. Get rid of his ranged weapon. Weapon empty. He's gonna run up and smack that another thing twice. Make sure we don't like activate, double activate. That what would be pretty silly. Firing on the right fin. Okay. I am an instrument of vengeance. Acquiring firing position. Mystery can help with that. I'm here to serve. Gonna move everyone up. Your orders. As you come on. I need a willpower. Back on the mirage. Death to the end! Ah! Another battle ends in triumph! Another okay. chance to serve. That's your command. I am here to serve. I know there's another part pod guarding yes. guarding that thing. The warp interference, so we're gonna Vindicare at your disposal you will. Get ready to deal with that. Yes, with perhaps some uh, extra defenses. Standing ready. The agent Here. The fire will be used. Come on. They will fear. We need a brother Crass to get up there. Black dogs of the false emperor. Ooh, that's a nasty group. Allow me to demonstrate. By the emperor. Our objective is protected by a hell brute. Finally, a worthy foe. Come, traitor. Destroy the warp interference. Then I will calibrate our return to the edict expeditiously. Teleportation will be impossible until the warp interference is cleared. Okay, well, first we gotta deal with that hell My brute. Blade is which, quick, Commander. which is a very nasty enemy. It's basically a demonic dreadnought. It's got a enraged rush. If you attack it, it'll charge you to grab a knight. It can melee attack for damage. It has a bull rush, uh, superior knockback. Meaning, uh, even units are normally resistant to knockback can be affected. Plasma charge shot. That's what it's doing right now. Does nine damage next turn. Don't standing it as a self destruct. That's actually really annoying. Uh, and it has basic attacks like a plasma cannon that just does six damage, and then a, a power scourge that does five. Like all nasty stuff. There is a plague marine there with a sprayer and a pistol. You have the grenades. Yes, I hate those grenades, but I don't know what I can do about the one in the back. I could stun. I could stun the hellbrew. He's not actually resistant. He. Um, or uh, not stun, but incapacitate. So that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good option, I think. What does kill time have? Awaiting directions. Yes, you could you could destroy the Overwatch. That seems real good. Precision target locked in. Next. 
think a seeker service skull on the hell brew and the one with the grenade seems smart the plague marine with the grenades there is also a explosive barrel back there that we should be able to take advantage of my will is yours and we have a charge pretty good yeah. I'm gonna go to shoot the uh, explosive barrel right here what is your will teleport range is pretty good okay let's let's Be make quick, sure Amanda. the Incapacitate. Incapacitate is not the same thing as stun. It should work. No reason to believe why it wouldn't work. Let it force flow through you. Yep. Okay, so the hell brutes dealt with. Yes. For now. Those two, uh, I could just put Alex K there to deal yes. with. So let's move mystery up. Blow up that explosive barrel. That also does a lot of bonus damage. I strike Eleven. Yeah. I don't actually know that you can start getting ranged to merge. But I know how you could do it. Ready to kill. Time to reload. You have a pistol shot from back here, Kiltai? No. I continue to serve. Death enters a friend. Oh, I really, I really should get rid of his uh, Ready to serve. plague thing. That Ready one, uh, all can do is Ready to okay. Kill. okay, okay, I gotcha. Taking position. It's all okay. I can honor the chapter. Then. Come up here. Unleash me. I'm to allow me to kill that one. I and then I just use the twin lings last cannon. Astro aim. Oh, I don't have the willpower. What does four strike do? Knockback. Well. I'm here to serve. My blade is yours. This might be a turn for the, um... For the Quicksilver. I really don't want to get played. Five damage. Mistress. This, this one's irrelevant. This one's yeah. done. One, two, three, four. I think I have to run up. I was hoping I could smack the hell brute for a little damage, but one, two, three, four, five. That's not quite enough. Okay, let's. It seems like a good time for this quicksilver. Face me! Doesn't really matter what I do here. I just don't want to get grenaded. Yeah. But I could shoot for a little damage, or even grenade for a little damage. If I grenade, that's three damage. I'm yours to come on. This is five damage. Yeah. 
Don't think I'd be able to run up and get it. You never know. Ah, no. This is three damage. With a Psy... Psy Bolt. Um, I could do this on our chapter, run up. Alright, let's see if the Twinling Cannon gets rid of his... Nope. To serve. I can do is on the chapter. Yeah. Alex, you actually have two shots, but I don't think that will do it. Oh, I yeah. should have four strike. I didn't even see that. It's all, it's all fine. It's all fine. I could shoot him, but that won't even penetrate the armor. Is the point. He's incapacitated. We'll, we'll deal with him next time. You cannot hurt me. That's right, Demir. This puny plague marine cannot hurt you. That is for sure. You're gonna stab my dreadnought? That doesn't seem very impressive. Again! Again! The heels are annoying. Okay. Weapons ready. Let's apply a crit debuff to the dreadnought to the help route. Vulnerability right? analysis complete. What are my options? Reload. Prepare to fire. My chances are forty percent to crit. I'll take that. Oh, but it has an auto. I should try to disrupt it. Let's do that. Weapon empty. Okay, so it doesn't have the auto, so it shouldn't do the self destruct. Disrupt it. Afflicted target cannot trigger their auto abilities. It can't trigger the self destruct, it can't trigger the uh, enraged rush or anything. Alright. Cogitating. You have a melee attack, right? Yeah. Nah, I didn't even know you had a melee attack. Well, let's do it. We're using that axe staff again. Nice. Very nice. I'm here to serve. So that was like Alex to do the attack. Armor break. I mean, you know what? Disable the melee weapon. Why not? Doesn't really matter. I am listening. Watch closely, Nikolas. Nine damage. It is the foe, Neophytes. Come on. Mystery, if you shoot from here, you will actually kill it. I am here. So to the unworthy. Indeed. Unworthy is right. Do a doom fist. Another doom fist on this one. Praise the Emperor. Alex, why don't you kill it to get the willpower back? Us. Mystery can run up and stab. Finish me. Ah! You are being judged. Demiurge can work on this. Uh, warp interference thing. Ah! Ooh, Lunette can shoot it. Now, I happen to know if you kill it, reinforcements show up. But I don't really care that I don't have everyone reloaded or set up. Warning. Your interference is fading slower than anticipated. It will take some time to ensure an adequate lock on our position. Yep. The sprung trap reinforcements will arrive. Bring it, I say, bring it. 
venerable brother Crass will wipe out these puny reinforcements all by himself. Oh, we actually, I didn't know we'd get a turn to set up. I'll make this at your disposal. pretty trivial. Okay, kill tie. you really only have uh, one good position, so why don't you come up here? You can be with uh, Brother Crass. Thank you. Hey. Yes, Commander. And then... I am here to serve or not. Demir, you can come here, overwatch this nonsense. Neck can come here. Your command. can come here. We're not just stay in the middle. Mystery. Come here to Overwatch. Okay. Let's move Venerable Crass, uh, Brother Crass up. Let's try all this stuff. Seems fine. Good old Overwatch. That's it. And turn. Let's see what shows up. One of those Blight Hauler things, and they dodged my trap. Good for them. It won't matter. One Plague Marine and a couple of melee guys. That's completely irrelevant. Okay, nothing's gonna bring me greater joy than knocking that Plague Marine off the cliff with a charge, so let's do it. Oh, how satisfying is that? Awaiting directions. With pleasure. Okay. Get this one. Why don't you shoot this one with a pistol so Mystery can be killed. Your service. These reinforcements are so weak. Yes. Alright, well, I suppose My blade these two are slightly more annoying. Um what is your command? I can Death And just like Shoot one of these, that's easy enough. Yeah. Right here. Um I mean I could incapacitate you. And then deal with you next turn. Overcharging capacitors. That's a armor penetrating attack. See what the last cannon does. He's got armor, he's got armor. It won't matter though. Foul! Yes. Firing vector clear. Okay, if I smack it again, two hit points. That Alex can pretty easily finish off. Or I think it just dies when uh, it tries to move. We've got options. Oh, kill tie. And you, uh, okay. Taking position. Try to get in range of that plague marine. And like, cripple it or something. Do a little damage. Confirmed. And mystery can get back too. Oh, okay, okay. This is a little more interesting. That is a Technophage reinforcement, so they get to attack on their turn. Uh, so I want Alex K to stand in the open and tank it with your 12 hit points. They could have an enemy that uh, pierce his armor, but it is what it is. Nothing we could do about that. I want to keep everyone else I safe. Your query. Ah! 
Smack it. Awaiting directions. Yeah. Yeah. All right. we'll give it a good smack. I am an instrument of vengeance. Be yeah. mystery to kills. Otherwise, we just chill back here. There's no reason to do anything. With haste. I am listening. Listening. Another chance to serve. Where's our old mystery right sending? What is your will? Hey, just none of this stuff matters. Weapons ready. I like kill time up here. You don't get any high ground bonuses, but it looks cooler. Alright, we can speed this along. Ah. Uh, that uh, preacher might do its uh, psychic attack. And that'll be very annoying. Yeah. Well, this game might take a wound here. Not too much I could do about that. Eat this! Oh, that's not true. I suppose I could have just hit Alex K all the way in the back. We are glad to have you join our campaign, honored brother. I hope you will find your space aboard the Edict acceptable. Got six necrosis seeds, nice. All bunch of requisition. Gonna roll on another Justicar. Uh, shields, um, they're specific to Paladins. We have zero Paladins, so that's not worth it. I keep seeing this Anvil's Haven. Maybe the game is telling me I should take it. I don't know. Scholar's Diligence, uh, just. A little more willpower, not real worth it. I keep seeing this stupid weapon. Maybe I should just take it. We are going kind of a tanky build. It's just all this has is plus one damage over the regular staff and plus one willpower, which is not terrible. Not terrible. It's only one requisition to spare. Sure. I think I've seen this like four or five times. The game is like screaming at me to take it. Fine. Whatever, it's only one requisition. Alex got a little injured. It's, you know, what we expect. Injuries happen from time to time. Uh, Kiltai leveled up though to level six. His dead shot has a cooldown reduction of three. Now it has a 12 turn base cooldown, that's nice. More bleeds from crits as well. Uh, Demiurge, let's just get your support fire all the way up. And then mystery, I don't know which way I'm going with you, biomancy or servo skulls. So I will wait. Probably biomancies. Glory to the Omnissiah. The venerable dreadnought demonstrates no lasting machine aberration. Brother Ekdar has conducted the necessary sanctifications for quarters to be established in the hangar bay of the Manufactorum. You may review its capabilities immediately. Indeed. Commander. The Venerable Dreadnought is available for your review in the Hangar Bay. Alright, so we've got Venerable Brother Crass, who I can rename, but I feel like it needs to be a very, very special character who gets, uh, who gets the Dreadnought named after them. The they Venerable only get Dreadnought one. is capable of equipping a variety of armaments. Acquire and optimize from the available options to adapt to the needs of each mission. Yep. 
So I do have to have the Archeo uh, cache to buy these things, but got like a Doom Fist is the standard weapon. It's got a heavy flamer, lots of stun, good base damage, a Doom Glaive. Never used this before, but it looks like really high base damage and a flamer. And it can bypass armor. So nine damage that bypass armor up to nine. That seems busted good. There is a missile launcher, which is a AOE. It's only three damage, but it's AOE. And it hobbles enemies. That's pretty good. And you can get upgrades to this thing. So this is a strong choice. Uh, yeah. Notice the missiles don't give you extra armor, and I don't think you get a flamer either. You also have, um, on the right arm, by standardly, you get the twin link glass cannon. It's very high base damage, but it's a single target, so not great against swarms of enemies. Uh, you got a multi melta. This thing, like, just inflicts armor break all in area three. That is busted of course it costs like pretty much all your willpower this thing also does like nine base damage yeah got a plasma cannon this is the thing that when we first saw the uh dreadnought this is the thing it came with plasma cannon very strong just a nice solid aoe five damage knockback like just great and i've never used this thing before the heavy side cannon looks interesting uh it can disable psychic enemies seems to be by default a single target has got very very good range so this could be powerful too I think all these weapons could be good but it depends on the situation and of course you get armor uh, and you only get this uh, faith keeper basic armor upgrade it's still a really solid upgrade you get a little more armor plus four more hit points the dreadnought seems like it has a lot of hit points but you take these on technophage missions and those can get pretty crazy so yeah. And then mind strike missiles are extremely good against demons, as you can see. If you get this upgrade, each cannon does like each strike does six damage against demons and a massive AoE. Good stuff. Um, you could get your dreadnought to be tanky, so that you put knights next to it. They can't be targeted by range attacks. Then it can repair itself. Uh, you got your LAS cannon abilities, uh, infinite support fire, but it seems a little questionable. Oh, the support fire only does two damage base. You really need it upgraded to be any good. Uh, but again, I, I don't know. I don't know about this support fire LAS cannon route. Um, Never even like explore some of these other abilities. They seem pretty crazy. I'll say the plasma cannon. Um, the upgrades don't seem that great. You can upgrade the uh, the overcharge to disable the plasma cannon less, but you generally don't want to be overcharging very much. You can apparently upgrade the plasma cannon to Overwatch. That's that's interesting. You can upgrade the Doom Fist so that the flamer can purge enemies. That's that actually could be quite relevant in the right situations. And you can upgrade it for more stun. That could be very good. Doomglade can get upgrades. Um, all sorts of options. I We don't have to decide that until we actually do a Technophage mission. And I did promise we are going to talk to everyone, so let's get to it. I know the video is starting to run a little long, but got to do it sometime. The halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? All right, Ektar. This plate has taken hold of this sector. We are burdened with a grave duty, Commander. Inquisitor's irresponsible acts have drawn Prometheum onto a burning pyre. You see, Brother Purifier, I can sense it. What has that Emperor damned Inquisitor unleashed? She should have pointed us in the direction of the infection and moved on to let us carry out our holy duty. Her interference has put this entire campaign at risk. And yet, the campaign persists. Yes, and now all our strength will be necessary to extinguish this contagion. As you wish. Alright. We were fortunate that the Supreme Grandmaster intervened on the craft work. Yes, we have been honored by Lord Drago's presence. He is trapped, doomed to wander the chaos waste, but has been known to break into real space when the Brotherhoods of Titan are in peril. 
How did such a situation come to be? Kaldor Drago vanquished a demon prince when he was a mere battle brother, and the prince cursed him in retribution. Some prognosticators believe the very same curse marked him for greatness. As a neophyte, we learn many tales of Lord Drago's victories. What you have heard is no exaggeration, but the truth. The previous Grandmaster was struck down in battle by the Daemon Primarch of the Death Guard, Mortarion. Drago was in the same conflict and immediately elevated to lead a chapter. His very first act was to swear vengeance. He sought out Mortarion alone, smashed aside the traitor's bodyguard, found Mortarion, and carved his predecessor's name into the Primarch's diseased heart. Why did he not kill the traitor? It is nigh impossible to slay Nurgle's favored. I'd argue that Drago did far worse, an insult that will never heal. Mortarion has hated the Supreme Grandmaster and all Grey Knights ever since. It was the Primarch who bound Drago to wander the Chaos Waste. No, that was the Demon Prince who cursed our Lord back at the very start of his career. Drago returned to Aquilaim two centuries later, fought the reborn creature, and was triumphant. This fulfilled the terms of the Daemon's curse laid long ago. In its death throes, he cast Drago into the warp, exiling him to roam the realms of chaos. That's all for now. I envy our brothers their place on the battlefield, Commander. Okay, maybe what I do is I talk to one person a mission. That that makes the most sense. We're, we're quite far from the next story beat, so those conversations are not going away. Now that I have the Dreadnought, let's go pick up some Archaeotech so we can get some upgrades. And then there's probably going to be missions we have to do. And then I'll take care of this um, Tentaris Hive. If it gets up one level, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. Okay, we got our gun battery leveled up. Excellent. Got 15 servitors now. Creating the reactor output is not realistic. Got a lot of options here. Gonna upgrade the dreadnoughts, hangar bay to get more EXP. I don't think that's a good choice. All integrity is nice. We might need that sooner rather than later. Um more barrack space not terrible oh right we got another uh brother let's review our new dust car ah what a yeah yeah it's hard to turn out just uh any night with the great destiny buff Plus one damage from melee attacks, though. I would want to go the melee route. I also don't have Iron Chapter, but we do have Terminator armor. And you do start out with the, uh, the ability to equip a Psy Cannon. Uh, in one hand, mind you, because you have the Terminator armor. You know what? That's pretty good. We can get rid of this uh, lower level Justicar. Plus 10% focus. Yeah, it's cute, but really need that. Just the cars are one of the more useful their classes. They can do a lot of different things. Mm, maybe I should upgrade the barracks just to have tons more brothers. I do like having more recruits. Uh, because you're gonna start getting like the special classes soon and everything. But you know what? Let's do it. I would also like to get the next tier warp drives, but we need to build up some servitors first. Yeah, 18 days. Let's barracks upgrade, and then we could upgrade our Gorium, perhaps, while we look for more servitors. Update. We have authorization from Titan to deploy the Venerable Dreadnought on missions containing this Technophage virus. Nice. Yep. And the mission spawn. I don't know why the pop-up in here could actually get there but is that oh now we see the new bloom activity i was just like but is that really what i want to do ah uh, you do have servitors oh it's it's the bloom assault type mission remember those those are the nightmare ones 
This is a requisition, growing to bloom. Don't care as much about that one. Uh, this one. Oh, this one has uh, special enemies. This one has the Tainted Sons. Interesting. Get a grimoire. Eh, it's all right. This one. What the mission is about using several skulls? That's easy enough. Twelve days left. Uh, is that? I worry, man. I worry the game is bugged. Like, I don't even see... I, I I can't tell if there's a tiny sliver of green there or not. Like, I, I just can't tell. I don't want to go there and not be able to do the mission. That would be stupid, right? I could put down... I mean, it's real hard to tell, but I, I just worry that by the time I get there, it will actually disappear. Otherwise, I would do it. I could put out a prognosticator here, but I would really want to use a prognosticator to lower some corruption. What is this? This is just seeding the bloom. This is like an easy mission. Man, I really need to get more speed. Ah, as much as I love these servitors, man, it's just not. It's just not gonna happen. And we do have the Tentaris Hive to do. So what I'm thinking is I could pick up the Archeo Cache, which will be useful because I need some upgrades. Then I could go do the easy mission here. I'm just going to have to let the other two missions go. Nothing we can do about it. Then do the Tentaris Hive mission. Then we'll try to, try to do a better techno phase. Again, I just... I don't trust the game. I think it's lying to me in terms of I can do it. Alright, so let's get to the planet with the Archaeotech. And then, yeah, like, I don't trust it. And then our two choices. I would much rather have an extra Grimoire. Those are always nice to increase research speed. So this one, I would, uh, I would get rid of more seeds. But then I'm further from the Antares Hive mission. I don't like that, so I'll just let you go. Grandmaster report. Grandmaster, I have uncovered vital knowledge since we last spoke. I have just been acquainting myself with your recent report. It appears to begin quite innocently with a raid on a Nurgle infested Eldari craft world. If that weren't enough, I can see this led to the advent of one, two, three, no, five greater demonic entities, heralding, it would appear, a most catastrophic outbreak of the bloom throughout your sector. Just what have you been up to, Inquisitor? If I could direct you to section CT2011-5, you would see that- Enough. I have no more patience for your ivory tower excuses, Commander. You are not without fault in all of this. I demand an immediate explanation. Oh boy. I blame Vakir. I'm sure Ektar would be happy, but Vakir would be very unhappy and I do want that research speed. Uh, she did actually cause the problem, but whatever. Uh, focus on the path war. That seems like a cop-out. I think nobody would be happy about that. These gray knights, they don't they don't seem like the type to focus on the path forward. Take responsibility. Fakira probably liked me. And... Yeah, yeah, I mean... I'm not seeing a better option here, because I really don't want to lose that research speed. I'll take responsibility for that. <laughs> Such a response I would have expected from your late commander. Agravain was a formidable soldier, but prone to put duty before honesty. I assure you, Grandmaster, we do not make compromises of virtue. Indeed, Hector. I gather then that you will not shirk a short penance, given your collective failure here. If I may, Grandmaster, what is crucial is that I now know how to combat this bloom. And so it would seem. I read 
of your plan to use some arcane xenotech to construct a Codex Toxicus, is it? Our chapter is no stranger to the use of foreign relics, but this is highly unorthodox. There is precedent. I have done my research. Oh, of that I have little doubt. Wherever you go, Inquisitor, your actions seem to leave a lasting impression. My entire council is in uproar over this news of our missing chapter lord. It seems I have little choice but to continue supporting your operation. I... thank you, Grandma. For your recklessness, however, I revoke your authority to command the Grey Knights in battle. You may join future combat missions when your talents are needed, but you will follow the commander's orders henceforth to the letter. How could he possibly have known about Drago? I didn't include him in my report. I told him, of course. The manifestation of the Supreme Grand Master is an unprecedented event. You could have warned me at least. I report to the chapter, not to you. Intercession. This exchange is unproductive. Open collaboration will be necessary to execute this mission efficiently. Our first responsibility is to support the Commander. You are right, as always, Dominus. My apologies, Commander. I should have consulted with you before informing the Grand Master about Lord Drago. Indeed, Lunette is the only one with any sense on this ship. I, I do admire Brother Ektar's zeal. Uh, and the cures, um, you know, she borders on heresy, but not quite, not quite. They're all admirable, but Lunette is by far the best. Okay, well, can upgrade some of my access. I want the war gear access, of course, and then the question is, what else? You know what? Let's upgrade everything. But not everything. Range, melee, and armor. I have the requisition for it. And I don't need to upgrade night access, and I do not have anywhere near enough requisition to upgrade the assassin gear. Although, we want to do that. Like, the better assassin gear is, is pretty clutch. But let's get our knights more upgraded. The war gear upgrade in particular will be good. Okay. So let's travel. Prognosticars have detected a heretical warband on the surface. The Tainted Sons adhere to the Mutant Creed, seeking power through the Plague God's grotesque blessings and spontaneously transforming in the midst of battle. Chapter Doctrine recommends an aggressive approach. Neutralize the threat before it can feed upon itself. To be fair, all of our approaches should be aggressive, Ektar. Data on the Tainted Sun's warband is available for review. Okay, yep. So Tainted Suns, this mixed warband seeks the blessing of Nergo's mutations, which significantly improve their resilience and power. They have uh, powerful mutations and higher hit points, so these are elite enemies. But it's not a problem. This is a basic seeding of blue mission. These are easy enough. Uh, I can, in fact, send some of our newer squad members, try to get them some experience. Thinking that's the way to go. We don't need Aya on this. We don't need B res. Yes, yes. Alex K, he still has 13 hit points. I kind of want to see you. Um, even without the artisan nullifier, you actually have like, a pretty absurd amount of uh, fences potential. I don't want to see you like do work there with the. I feel like you should actually get the uh, Brothers Diligence and Anvil's Haven can go to um, B Res. And B Res, I, I know, I know you have your current Terminator armor that gives focus. Ooh, I should upgrade that. But you can equip something else because at the end of the day. The real tank is going to be Alex's tank. Maybe we bring Pendant on this battle. Decide. I want to use some experience. Just so when I need him, uh, he'll be 
He'll be strong. Apothecary. Low rank of apothecaries. Kind of like meh. Hmm. Going to Tantara's high missions without healing is like. Dicey, dicey stuff. I might do it though, we'll see. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time.